Hey, it's Valeria. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Today I'll be talking about products that I've been using with my six-month-old Dachshund for about three months now, giving you my opinion on them, how they've been working for me, and whether or not they've been working. So it's a lot of product to get through, so if I don't answer any question that you had, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to give you my full opinion, where you could get it. Definitely, if I could find a link to whatever I bought online, I'll leave it in the description down below. And it's a lot of product to get through, so let's just get into it. So first product I want to talk about is the dog crate. We knew we wanted to crate train Frankie since the first night he was with us, and he's been sleeping there ever since, and it's perfect. It's somewhere that he could eat, it's where he sleeps, it's where he goes if he's dirty and he needs to stay there. If we're cleaning, all of that, the crate is great for that. And we also bought a crate cover, which is a black cover over it. We were using a blanket before that, and he was biting at it little strings were coming into the crate so something like this is much safer because he won't choke on it and what's awesome about this crate is that the bottom comes undone if you need to clean it there's also an insert so if you need to make it smaller as your puppy is growing that's definitely something that you could do and the bed and the blanket obviously you buy separate but those were really affordable we bought them at marshall's and i'm pretty sure you could find them anywhere for really cheap and it's very comfortable for them. Here's Frankie just showing us how he looks in his crate. You want a crate that your dog is able to fully stand in and still have a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much. So it feels cozy enough for them, like it's a little nook. Moving right along to training treats. My main advice with treats is that you want to make sure that they're small. So there's something that they could eat fast. Make sure that they're different flavors. That way they don't get tired of them and it's still a nice reward and that they're made for puppies and not for adults. That's very important. Teething treats are something that Frankie loves and he'll get sumis over, so I highly recommend. And also dental treats. For some reason, he also loves dental treats and make sure that they're puppy safe because a lot of dental treats are for six months and older. And if you get your dog at 10 weeks, you want to make sure that it's safe for them to eat at such a small age. It's always fun to also just have variants of treats not just puppy training treats so these are what we bought from von Bet. they are pricey but he does really love them along with these biscuits these are small so it's something quick that he could eat fast greenies check the back of the bag because a lot of these are for six months and older so make sure you're not giving this to your dog if obviously he or she is under this age of six months this is the shampoo and conditioner we've been using. It smells really good. I do recommend getting a duo, even if it's not this brand, because it'll help with their softness of their fur. And a tangle remover with Frankie, he's a long hair dachshund, so it really helps with the tangles and with making him softer and smell good. An ear cleaner, super important. They'll smell like earwax, so you wanna make sure that something's safe for them to use while they're showering. This brush, I do not recommend, but I did want to show it here because I want to say that I recommend for you to actually invest and spend the extra dollars to get one that's self-cleaning because it's such a pain to have to clean it every time I brush him because a lot of hair goes into that. And this one is a little spikier. This will use more once his hair gets longer, but right now his hair is not long enough for it. We use this brush to shampoo in once we're showering and just help the product get into his skin. Moving right along to nail clippers, these have that safety feature that most of them nowadays have, so I would recommend something like that. And there's even some with light, so if that would make you feel a little more comfortable, I would also recommend getting one like that. Brushing your dog's teeth is very important. We got this one that comes with a brush and a finger brush. That way we would be able to test which one he likes better. We have not been using the long handle brush, but hopefully he'll also like that one. But so far he has not been liking brushing his teeth. <laughs> We give Frankie dry kibble, so a broth like this helps with making it softer, and I think it smells better for him because he actually likes his food way more when it has a little bit of this broth, even if it's just a small amount, enough to wet it and give it that smell. Poop bags, very important. We got this 900 pack because we knew we would use it, even if it takes us a long time to use them. These come with two of these inserts that you could clip onto the leash, to your bag, to whatever it may be, and they've been working great. Just whenever your hands are cold, it's kind of hard to get these. 
Dogs are bound to have urine accidents indoors, so you need to get an enzymatic formula cleaner for your floor. That way the smell doesn't stay there and they associate that location with somewhere that they should go potty. These wipes have been very important for us. We use them every time Frankie goes potty or if he just went outside and his paws are dirty. This will help to make sure that nothing stays in his paws. This was the smallest collar we could find at PetSmart and it extends. It's not that big. We wanted something really small because he was obviously very small. And this is what he's going to graduate to after we remove his cone. It's a little more sturdy, but it's still small and he'll be able to clip on his leash and it still works, it has a clip on. This was his first harness. Again, it was the smallest one we could find at PetSmart at the time. And we didn't really like that it was kind of difficult to put on because it's two different pieces versus it just clipping together, but it did work for his size and he did outgrow it. So after outgrowing that one, now he is using this harness. It's much easier to put on. He just flips his head into the hole and it works perfectly. It's super sturdy, so I never feel like he's going to choke or if he's going to run away and hurt himself. It's perfect for his size. Along with collars and harnesses, you're going to need a leash. I would recommend getting one that's non-retractable, the ones that are sturdy, because this will help with leash training. And most of them, I think, come padded on the handle, so definitely recommend something like that so it won't hurt your hands as much. This water bottle has been great for whenever we're traveling to the park. It has a lock method so it won't spill in your bag and you could sip the water back in if he doesn't drink all of it and you won't waste it. And we've been using it a lot right now that he has a cone. So moving on to bags, this is the first bag we use. It's from Muji and it's perfect enough size because it's very small but it fits all his treats, all his wipes, an extra poop bag and also any toys that we want to put in there and it's very aesthetically pleasing so it could go with anything. Here you could see it's very minimal, so you just throw it on over your shoulder and you don't even feel like you're carrying it. Moving on to our most recent purchase is this Wild One duffel bag. It definitely is a pricey item. I only justified it because I really love the color of this. I did not want a black duffel bag that would just kind of blend in with all my other duffel bags. I wanted something that would pop and it was still a neutral color and I love the features of it. I love that it all comes undone and you could fully sip it up if you need to. There's windows, there's a attachment, so you could attach it to his collar, that way he won't move around that much. Frankie has yet to get used to it. We've only used it once so far because we haven't traveled, obviously. I also like that there's a sip pocket outside, so if you want to put his leash in there, that's perfect for it. And on the flip side, there's an insert, so if you want to put it over your carry-on, when you're traveling, that also works. And there's these two slide pockets. So if you wanna put your phone, something really small, and this little attachment that also works if you wanna clip him onto the bag. Here's me carrying it on the side for size reference without the strap. It's perfect. It's a duffel bag, not much to say. And here's Frankie just giving us a quick look as to how he goes in. As you could see, he fits. He was able to fully turn around to grab his treat and just showing you if I wanted to leave this window open, I definitely can. If I want to sip it up all the way, I also definitely can. Moving on to the last and most used bag is this crossbody bag from Amazon. There's not much to it aside from the fact that it's smaller, it's compact. There's only that one pocket for the dog to go into with that little insert so he could be attached to the collar. The strap is adjustable and it is padded. And then there's this small pocket that we've been using to put our hand sanitizer in because COVID. So here I am trying it on for size reference. You can see the strap is fully adjusted. So this is the tightest it'll go. And here is Frankie. This bag has been really great for subway rides, walks around town, all of that. It's just very easy to put on and much easier to carry than, let's say, a duffel bag. And tote bags don't work for dachshunds because their legs are just too short and they'll choke. Fun part, toys. These have been very loved. They're full of hair and chew marks. You need different textures because you don't want your dog to get bored. So chewy toys, loud toys, bouncy toys. Make sure with balls like this that they're not eating the little hairs because they come undone very easily. Things like this that you could throw around and play with them. This is also something that you could play tug of war with them. 
and you could do plushy toys. This one he used to sleep with it so and he would chew on it so things with different textures because they're obviously teething and they want to feel that sensation in their gums and they'll just won't be bored and won't be biting at your shoes or things that they shouldn't be biting at because they'll have plenty of toys that they won't get bored with and should go without saying is make sure to supervise your dogs when they're playing with toys this dog food container i highly recommend get one that's going to work for the size of your dog food bag i believe this one was around 18 pounds it works great for keeping all the smell in and it comes with that one little scooper but you could obviously use a different scooper for his dog bowl we wanted a slow feeder because we wanted to make sure that he wouldn't choke on his food if he was eating too fast to just practice a little bit of patience and with a removable stainless steel water bowl and last but not least is pads. Pads are super important. We live in a third floor walk up with no outdoor space so we have to use pads and we got this pad holder because their floor is very slippery and it's been a game changer and you could see Frankie doing his business here. Frankie. <laughs> 